Dr. Chris Millington. I'm in the History and Classics department here at Swansea. in the History and Classics department here at Swansea um, and I'm the admissions tutor uh, in the department too. My specialty is French history although I teach on several other undergraduate and postgraduate courses. Okay, yes, I would describe myself as an enthusiastic lecturer. I describe myself as an enthusiastic person. I'm very positive um, I've got a very positive personality and I like to think that I bring that into the classroom and try and try and make sure that my positivity rubs off onto the students as well. Um, it's Being a history lecturer I find it quite easy to be enthusiastic about the subject because it's something that I love. Uh, I love reading about it, writing about it and I love talking about it so um, I think all history lecturers can be enthusiastic about that, their topic. Um, we're all doing something we love after all, so if we can't communicate that to the students then uh, we need to do something about it. <laughs> there are several ways that I interview students, so I like to use body language and the, the varying the level of my voice just to keep it interesting. I like to be quite, I suppose, energetic in the classroom, moving about, walking about. I use the board a lot to try and teach through um, diagrams and images as well, rather than just me talking at the students. I also like to vary the activities that students do. So we might do um, individual activities where they, they write something in silence for a few minutes and then discuss this as a group. And I also like to get students to, to move around the room because it's a bit it's a bit of an unusual thing to do in a seminar to get up and walk about, go over to different parts of the room, but it also helps to wake students up as well, gets them breathing deeply, um, and I think that's part of engaging, engaging them, especially during two hour seminars where um, some might be tempted to, to drift off or zone out. Um, it's good to get some movement in the classroom too. Um, I like to think I am always an enthusiastic teacher. Sometimes it could maybe be a bit more difficult if I'm feeling tired um, or I've got lots of other things going on because teaching is just a part of the job. There are other things that we have to do. But I like to think that I and every lecturer leave those sorts of things at the door of the classroom because during that one hour or two hours, your job is to to teach and you don't have to think about anything else during that hour um, and the students are not interested if you're tired or if you're in a bad mood so that has to be left at the door and as soon as I walk into the classroom I become lect the lecturer um, and uh, and that's when the enthusiasm really has to kick in. Maybe I'm enthusiastic to, to, uh, to motivate myself as well um, to uh, to take my mind off all the all the jobs that I've got to be doing. Yes, so now and again I have been unenthusiastic, particularly if I've been ill during teaching or particularly tired. Um, the problem of being unenthusiastic in the classroom is that it it makes the whole lesson painful for everyone in the room. So um, teaching is more enjoyable when you're enthusiastic. If you're not enthusiastic for whatever reason, the class just lasts twice as long for everyone in there. The, the students aren't engaged and no one goes away from that class feeling like it was worthwhile, including myself. So um, it's important to be enthusiastic because we, as lecturers, we're often our own worst critics. We're constantly thinking, did that class go well? Did they understand it? Um, and if you're unenthusiastic about it, then it won't have gone well. And the students pick up on things. I hope that they do respond to my enthusiasm. I've had comments in the past that, that they do and that they can see that I've got a real love for the, for the subject and that seems to have made them more interested in the subject. 
The problem is that when I'm looking at, at the faces around the room, it's very difficult to tell what people are thinking. Um, and as a tutor, I, sometimes I might think, well, why don't you look as interested or as I am in this, or why don't you look as enthusiastic as I am? But thinking back to when I was an undergraduate student, I wasn't sat on the edge of my seat in a seminar or in a lecture, even if I thought it was the best class I'd ever heard. So I try not to read too much into students' facial expressions and uh, just hope that my enthusiasm comes through in other ways, perhaps in the, the feedback in module surveys or improved assessment marks as well. Yes, I genuinely do enjoy teaching students. Um, I think that being a lecturer is it's the best job in the world um, because I get to, to do what I love on a daily basis. Um, and one of the things, the most enjoyable parts of this is to go into a room full of students and talk about something that I find interesting and try and get them to find it interesting as well. So there's there are downsides to teaching, but some, often people say there's too much marking um, and we have to prepare for the classes as much as the students do so it can be the weekly routine of uh, weekly and trying to meet deadlines for the classes. Um, but who wouldn't love sitting in a room with a group of young, interested and intellectually curious people talking about something that is, is stimulating. Okay, the one thing I would change about my teaching is, it's perhaps not to do with the way I teach it, would be to have more time to prepare classes because I attend a lot of teacher training workshops uh, on campus and whenever I come away from those workshops I feel really invigorated and really enthusiastic about either the theory that we've learned or the techniques that they've told us we can employ. And I'm constantly looking to do innovative things in seminars in, and in lectures. But when it comes to actually having the time to put those things into teaching, I find that I ju I, it's just not possible. There's too many other things going on, too many other demands on my time. Um, and so while I try my best, I think that if I could have the time to put it all into action, then my teaching well, hopefully it would be great, um, but I feel guilty sometimes that I don't have the time to do that and sometimes you can opt for the easy option if you just walk into a room and think, oh, we'll just talk about this for an hour. Um, well, that's not really good enough, they're not the best classes, so I'd like to have more time to devote to teaching, especially teaching preparation.